Weak gammon, turfs, deplorables don't stand a chance of getting through a sentence without being reprimanded for misspeaking. Back at the Lords after the summer recess, we all got a welcome letter from the new government and the whips. How lovely, I thought, except it was more like a passive-aggressive warning. So to quote it, it said, as the House considers and debates some of the difficult issues that the country faces, it's especially important that debate does not descend into vitriol, use of false facts, or the use of rhetoric designed to offend and inflame. So what? When the government announces they're scrapping the winter fuel allowance based on fa fake black hole facts, or Bridget Phillips and the Education Secretary tears up the Democratic Past Higher Education Free Speech Act, calling it a hate charter, aren't we allowed to vitriolically condemn them? Are we meant to smile sweetly and nod in case anyone is offended? What's, frust 